All right, guys, it's Charlie Tango 1994 back with another YouTube video. Um, I made a comment on uh, a previous YouTube video that I did uh, about the battery pack that I use to power the, the CB um, when I'm uh, out on one of, out on my DX trips. Uh, and I also had a comment from a guy called Mark uh, just asking for more information about what it was I used. So I thought I'd do a quick review today. Um, and uh, I guess we'll start with sort of saying it's just uh, it's a, a, an emergency car jumper kit, um, which basically is 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 a battery pack, a rechargeable battery pack, um, which you can use in a number of ways. Uh, but primarily, um, it is to enable you, should your your car battery run down, to be able to get a jump start from from the battery pack. Uh, for those who understand these things, I am informed that it is a uh, 20,000 milliamp, milliamp hour battery um, and uh, that's, that's about as much as I can tell you from a technical point of view. Um, to show you the actual battery itself, it is, it is pretty lightweight, I'll have to get a, a measurement as to exactly how much it weighs and uh, it is pretty small as you can see, fits in the palm. Um, so really it is, it is the ideal size and weight for, for what I need um, for, for powering the rig um, and it doesn't take up too much space or add too much weight which a lot of kind of portable batteries could do. If you're new to this channel and would like to see more CB related videos feel free to hit the subscribe button below and watch out for new videos uploaded every Wednesday. If you enjoy my videos don't forget to hit the like button or leave me a note in the comments section. Also, if you're new to CB Radio, watch this video through to the end to find out more about the free gift I offer to all of my subscribers. So that's one of the main reasons for uh, for having it. There's a couple of different other ones out there which are subtly different, but basically do the same job. So to guide you through it, um, if you hit the power button on the front, um, there are four LEDs, so when the fourth one is lit, it's fully charged. Now, I've used this uh, three times, um, and one of them running the sideband rig for a couple of hours, and it's not even, as you can see, it's not even halfway empty. Um, the other thing to say about them is that you shouldn't let them run down to completely flat, because I believe that if you do that, um, it's difficult to get them charged back up. So if you do get hold of one of these and I will put a link to uh, to the um, eBay thing that I, I got it from um, so if you do want to get hold of one you'll find uh, information about it the link to it uh, in the description of this video but uh, it is it is pretty useful um, not just for powering rigs either so to to show you what you've got um, if you press and hold the power button the uh, the LED on the front gives you a little a little torch, which again, if you were needing to change the tire or, or do something with the car in the dark, um, it's just handy having that. Um, and then um, on the front, there's not a huge amount to show you. Uh, is a um, five volt two amp USB. Uh, so if you want to charge your phone or any USB enabled devices uh, and then under this flap is the sort of main power supply for the battery so if I show you the case um, there's a bunch of accessories which which it comes with um, and it's another thing to point out that the whole thing it all packs away into this this goes into my rucksack I keep everything together um, so it is you know quite well organized and and all of the components are are together when I need them so um, you've got a number of different options I've mentioned the the USB connection um, and it comes with this adapter um, so you, obviously you plug that into the USB port excuse me <coughs> and then you've got um, a choice of four different connections on the end so should really power most most types of devices um, there's the old style USB uh, can't remember what each one of them is called but the the slightly wider one then 
it's I think that's micro USB they call that. So most more modern devices uh, that on iPhone um, will tend to take either I don't know if you can see them, but either that one or that one. And then this one is the the newer I think it's called the Lightning um, adapter for iPhones and iPads. And then you've also got the old style one, which is 32 pin. Um, that does the the older types of iPhones, iPods, and and iPads. So I have used that. I do I do use this um, when I've been out. So that's that's useful to have. Um, and then showing you that that the other power socket on there. Um, there's there's another adapter here which converts to uh, a cigarette lighter. So anything that you've got that runs out of a, a standard cigarette lighter um, socket plug um, this will be your this will be your socket for it um, and that goes into the special port that we talked about um, it's worth saying as well that it's a particular shape so the left hand pin as you see it is kind of squared off and, and the other one is circular obviously one of those is positive one of those is negative so you want to make sure and there isn't a way to get this wrong um, it will only fit one way uh, just to make sure that you know you don't you don't um, reverse it uh, and then cause a problem for yourself or for the equipment. So that would go in there, um, and then anything that that uses a cigarette lighter adapter um, would go into that. And I do see a lot of the the DX guys um, sort of run just just like that. So that, there's one option. Um, and then what I tend to do because it's just straightforward normally. Um, certainly on the on the rig that I normally use the uh, the Colt 295 bare wires coming out the back. Um, so to say again, this this is what you would use uh, to connect to your car battery should you ever need to get a jump from it. Um, one goes on 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 one terminal, one goes on the other. But you you can just as easily, and this is what I do when I'm when I'm out and about, is just put the the end of the wire into each one of these. Um, and that likewise goes into the battery itself. Um, fairly straightforward stuff, but uh, that's that's what it looks like. And then there's a couple of other little components in in the case itself. Uh, you've got the ability to be able to to charge the battery pack um, from a cigarette lighter. So if you're out on a journey or I don't know, camping or caravan in in your car, uh, and you need it to be charged up, you can do that. As you're driving, um, just plug that into your cigarette lighter in the car, and it will charge the battery up. And then the other option is obviously a standard three-pin plug, um, which I've not used yet. So obviously that plugs into a wall socket, as you'd expect, uh, and then that goes into the battery to charge it. Once you've got your four lights, you know it's it's fully charged uh, and it's ready to use again. The other comment that they make in the eBay listing is that uh, it should hold its charge for around about two months, so sort of eight weeks. Um, so if you have got it fully charged and kind of want to keep it in the boot of the car or whatever else, um, it's fine to do so. But you probably will need to pull it out every now and again um, just to uh, just to charge it up. Uh, I won't put it all the way on camera, but. I have been quite impressed with it. I have to say, I've, I've mentioned that I, I've used it uh, three times now, um, and I'm still only one one uh, LED out, so there's there's still plenty of charge in it. Um, and I've also been impressed with the the case itself. So it's just just handy having it all tidy and organised like this, um, and it fits quite nicely into my rucksack, so it doesn't take up a lot of space or or add a lot of weight. So I have been impressed with it. Now, in the in the comment that I left for Mark, I uh, I, I put the the link to um, the eBay buy now, um, and I'm going to add the same link to uh, to the description on 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 this YouTube video. Uh, so if you do want one, um, I do recommend them. I've not had any issues with it. The overall cost, I think it was about. Thirty-two pound, thirty-six pound. I've just, I've just pulled it back up on screen. Thirty-seven pound, um, which actually it, it tells me, um, looking at the the auction now, 
or, or the buy now now uh, that the RRP on it is 50 quid so there's a bit of a saving on there I just wanted to check for you as well I think it was free postage um, I can't see any mention of postage charges so yes free services from outside UK so it might take a few weeks to get delivered I'm presuming it's coming from China or something like that uh, but uh, yeah 37 pound all in which isn't bad I have to say I think there's many more expensive ones than that um, it's fairly versatile which is great you can use it for a number of reasons do like the torch on it um, just as I say just handy having the torch in your car should you ever need it um, never used it to jump start the car but handy to know that if I'm ever in that situation um, we've got the ability to be able to do that and you'll be seeing this little device probably fairly widely used uh, in forthcoming months and years possibly um, to power the CB so in response to the questions that were being asked that's that's how I've been doing it and uh, as I say there'll be a link to the device in the YouTube video if you scroll down all right guys that's it I will catch you in another YouTube video soon cheers then hope you enjoyed watching this video and as a thank you to you, particularly if you're new to CB Radio or returning to it after many years, I've put together a free information series called The Beginner's Guide to CB Radio, which I'm sharing with all of my subscribers. To find out more, click the link in the top right corner now.